Hello, fellas. I think they like the uh, the new BSA. At one with nature. Okay, buddy. Hello, team, and welcome to the brand new, for the first time in 50 years, BSA have built a new motorcycle. BSA Gold Star. A little bit of history. The very first Gold Star, the original Gold Star, was built between 1938 and 1963, either with a 350cc or a 500cc single engine. The reason why this might be quite an exciting bike is really because this is the first motorcycle BSA have built since 1973. Many thanks for that information, Google. <laughs> Very useful tool, that. Bit of history on BSA there. I've got to be honest, I don't know much about BSA. I don't, I don't really know anything about them, to be honest. I've never ridden any of their bikes. So I Googled it yesterday and had a bit of a read. This is a pretty big deal. Pretty much 50 years since they actually built any motorcycle so straight off the bat not beat around the bush gonna be completely honest today i'm gonna be riding this with an open mind but very much a comparison mind to the royal enfield interceptor 650 now we'll go over specs and a bit of the well not boring it's interesting but i'm running the technical specs a little bit later let's just go straight out for a ride first off though the obvious difference is the royal enfield interceptor is a parallel twin six 50 cc this it's a single single cylinder engine oil cooled putting out 45 horsepower and 55 newton meters of torque compare that to the interceptor the interceptor is putting out forget my figures now i'll put them on the screen but it's very similar <laughs> just a different power delivery obviously being a different engine let's jump straight on take her for a spin first off i need to do my bag up that would be bad right let's fire up that single engine see what she's like turn the ignition on red ang It's got a nice thrum to it. Now, if we're comparing it to the Interceptor, it's tricky, isn't it? Because the Interceptor's a twin. It's a parallel twin. It, I would say the Interceptor is a little bit of a smoother engine and slightly meatier in the sound department. However, the BSA, it's got that more old school single pop, 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 pop. It feels a little bit more old school than the Interceptor, so yeah, that, that is definitely the first thing I noticed. By the way, we're at the uh, Bewley National Motor Museum today, which is awesome, but we're not going to look around, we're riding the BSA. Uh, first off, I'd like to say many thanks to Dearden Motorcycles here in the New Forest, just outside of Bewley, um, for lending me the bike. If you want to test ride this, guys, it's a great spec. It's the black spec, colour-wise, so give them a shout. I'm sure they'll let you have a test ride. Straight off the bat, Riding position, very comfortable. Narrower bars than I was expecting. Nice, just sat bolt upright. Slightly larger angle in my legs than I, than I thought it was going to be as well. But yeah, very, very comfortable riding position. And I must say the seat is spectacular as well. <laughs> very cushioned, really nice feature. Nice light clutch, medium to light clutch. The gear shifter is, it's got a, a longish throw to it on your foot, but nice and positive, never miss a gear. If we go on with the, the dials and the dash here, two analog dials, very nice. Possibly better than on the Interceptor, I think. They're sort of reversed, so you've got your zero up here, and they sort of go like opposite to what you think with the needles, which is a really nice touch. It's a quality, looking dash everything you're seeing here all of the touch points the the top of the tank with the um the fuel cap here is is brilliant with the three guns logo on it really really cool impressive quality cockpit so to speak if not as good or if not better than the interceptor i would say right what's that engine like it's a 650 single it's not not right home power is that a pig 
what was that? Baby deer or something? Jurassic Park around here. It's not massive power figures, but we know that already with these modern classic bikes. It's got that lovely pup, 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 old school from the pea shooter exhaust. It really, it, it does feel like that old school characterful motor. You feel like you're riding a classic bike which is great. I think that's what BSA have designed into this bike. That's the purpose of it. So straight into it, what's it like compared to the Interceptor? Interesting. I was expecting this motor to be slower, to feel slower than the Interceptor. I think, gonna say it, it feels torquier. It's not by a couple of figures, but or it is a little bit torquier, but you wouldn't have thought you'd notice it. But I feel like it's got a little bit more pulling power than the Interceptor does. As soon as you... I don't know, you know, I don't know whether this is quicker than the Interceptor or not. It's very close. So yeah, power-wise, nice job. Right, let's go over a few of those specs. I had to take my jacket off because I just dropped it uh, in a puddle in the mud, so it would look ridiculous if I had it on now. <laughs> It's covered in mud. The engine. Yeah, I can't make my mind up which is quicker. It's very close. It feels like the BSA from the singles got a little bit more torque, a little bit more pulling power. Feels like it on the throttle anyway. However, coming into the quality of the power delivery, I think the Interceptor is pipping it there. That that parallel twin from the Interceptor is a really a peach of a motor, actually, I personally think. A bit more quality power delivery from the Interceptor. However, from this BSA, I think you're getting more of an old school sort of British classic vibe from it so yes yeah, what you really want from it but nice nice power i'm surprised quicker than i thought this motor okay guys so up front suspension you have 41 millimeter telescopic forks pretty much identical to the interceptor um non-adjustable they're nice on the road it's quite a sort of soft setup a nice pliable if i'm gonna say it without being in a detrimental way it feels like old school feels suspension which i think adds to the character of the bike if this suspension was plush as anything and, and and sporty side of things it just wouldn't suit what this bike's built for so simple suspension but works nicely coming on to the rear suspension you've got uh dual shocks either side i believe five step preload adjustable very similar to the interceptor again the suspension apartment nice and simple old school effective setup okay so front brakes guys you have a single 320 millimeter disc with a two piston brembo caliper moving on to the rear you have a single 255 millimeter disc with a single piston brembo caliper okay so wet weight and seat height wet weight 213 kilograms and the seat height is 780 millimeters so a few kg lighter than the Interceptor and actually a lower seat height than the Interceptor as well. I am going to say I can feel that difference. Definitely feel lower to the ground on the BSA. Um, I'm 5 foot 9, 32 inch inseam, really comfortably fat foot it. Now I can on the Interceptor as well but this is just feels that bit lower. And a few kg, is that really noticeable? Probably not, but when riding it it feels like a slightly lighter bike coming into the corners it feels like i can just throw it in a little bit more it just feels a tiny bit more nimble on its wheels i think that down trip being lower down and that tiny little bit less weight as well so yeah nice dimensions and, and weight with the bsa there really nice spot on riding position so guys, just before we get on the road, go over how she handles, etc. A little bit more of a ride. A few features I like. First of all, the looks. Actually, the, the looks and the overall build quality, I'm surprised with how good it is. It's for the first bike they've built in such a long time. They know what they're doing. Confident about they know what they're doing. Beautiful paintwork and tank, and especially the logo, the BSA Gold Star logo there is really, really nice. A few other touches like the three guns logo there on the side of the engine there. Just really cool touches. Excuse my getting the seat muddy. Sorry, dear. And really comfortable seat. Very comfortable. Really strong point of the bike actually flat flat bent seat beautifully designed pea shooter exhaust love the uh the mug guard nice large front mug guard with the old school sort of metal attachments here nice bulky thought thick fork covers there which is which is nice it's yeah a, must say a, a really good quality built bike okay the switch gear a little bit but built down to price a little bit plasticky i will say that you know but at this price point you can't you can't complain too much about that it's a great looking bike
Okay guys, so handling, what's she like? We've got an 18 inch wheel up front, 17 inch on the rear. And like I said, with the lower seat height and the slightly lower weight, 213 kilograms, it's quite nimble actually. It feels quite nimble and quick, quicker to turn in than I was expecting. A good fun handling bike. Look, you don't want to be pushing these things and really digging it in and exploring its maximum handling abilities. That's really not what the bike's for. But for sort of pottering around, when it's slightly quicker than pottering around on nice country lanes, it's really nice. Yeah, I think they've done a great job with the handling. Whether it's better than the Interceptor, I don't know. I think it's slightly more nimble than the Interceptor, quicker to turn in, but whether it's actually more quality handling and suspension, I don't think so. I think the Interceptor might feel slightly more premium in that department, but I think this is more agile. I do. It's got some nice torque from that engine, I'm surprised. It does feel a little peppier than the Interceptor. Right, what's she like through uh, town as we come through Bewley here? Very small town, but gives you a good feel for it. Well, the engine's pop, 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 popping away the single there. You can feel it. Nice and characterful. Throttle response is smooth, not jerky. Adding to that nimbleness, the lightweight and low down, it's great through town. You feel quite special riding through an old school British village like this as well on your BSA Gold Star. It does feel quite cool. You know what? I'm going to go with just sinking there. This BSA is, for me, a bit of a mixture between the Royal Enfield Classic 350 and the Inter Royal Enfield Interceptor 650. It's a bit like that. If you see what I mean, if you can you can picture that and get that in your head, that is slightly what it's like to ride. It feels more old school than the Interceptor, but then it's more of a beefier, faster, more bigger bike than the Classic 350. It's a great combination, actually. I'm, I really like this bike. I wasn't expecting to. I gotta be honest, I wasn't that excited to ride it. I thought, oh, BSA is not gonna, you know, I, it is what it is, but actually, it feels like a better classic 350 to me. That's what I would describe it as, not so much compared to the Interceptor. Interesting. Interesting one for you to think on there. I mean, is it the perfect modern classic sort of retro British bike? I think it might well be. It's got something to it, this. So paint guys, colour scheme, you can get a, oh, top of my head here. You go black, green, white, not a white, a chrome, and then you can get like a, a, a special edition for a few hundred quid extra, which is all chrome, which I would, I would go for. Julie at Dearden Motorcycles said they're, they're getting new deliveries. So they're built in India, these bikes, but they're getting deliveries over to the UK. I think the next orders will be coming in in sort of mid-January. So there, there is availability, guys, if you're after these bikes. Get your order in and you will have it in the next few months. Don't send me an angry email if you don't get it, but that's what I'm told. <laughs> Just heading back to Dearden, let's find out, can she get out of her own way speed-wise? I've got a feeling it's going to be fine. Oh yeah, that's 60. It's quicker than I expected this. That's 60 there. Now we're in top gear. Do start getting some slight vibes through the handlebars. Nothing through the pegs. Very smooth. Not much through the seat. A little bit through the handlebars, but as to be expected, it's a single. But yeah, you're comfortably doing 60, 65 miles an hour. Much above that, it'll do it but I wouldn't want to do it for too long. Seems pretty nice at sweet spot around, oh, help yourself sir, um, sweet spot around 55 miles an hour. All right, coming back to Dearden. Is it better than the Interceptor? Ooh, interesting one. I was coming in thinking absolutely not <laughs> before I rode it, but you have to keep an open mind. Ah, I don't know. I, I don't really like saying bikes are better than others because they're just all different, really. I would really think hard if I were to buy one of the two, which one I would get. This is a cool bike, this BSA. I love the British classic vibe about it. I love the, t the three guns logos on it, just that whole, you know, the dreamy classic British vibe. It sort of works. It's got a real appeal to it. I 
don't think it's better than the Interceptor. I actually think the Interceptor, it, and it's mainly down to the, the parallel twin, has a slightly more premium feel to it, but that's more because of the engine. Nice bike, nice bike BSA. Back at the dealers here. Oh, I don't know if I can remain on the fence or not, whether I can say it's better. It, it, it's not better than the Interceptor, but I think I'm gonna leave you with, I would really struggle to decide which bike to buy I've got to give you an answer. Right at this very moment, I would buy the Interceptor 650 over the BSA. But that's now. I might change my mind in five minutes. <laughs> Anywho, many thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. Shout out to Mental Health Awareness. Ciao Bella, let's hope for some sunny weather.